Welcome to Lisa's Littles. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today is Saturday. Happy Saturday to everyone. Yes, I am here with Emma again and she has been changed. And I wasn't going to participate in PJ Saturday, but it is stormy today. It is windy and rainy. Yes, we are having another weekend of wonderful storms to add to the storms that we have had for the last two weeks. Um, it is supposed to rain really bad today, which is Saturday. Rain Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Tuesday and Wednesday aren't supposed to be as bad. And then from what I can gather from the Weather Channel next week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are all dry days. So I'm sure that everybody in the whole state of California is hoping that that stays true because we need a little bit of time to kind of dry out from all of this rain that we have had. Um, our yards, our front yard, backyard, and side yard are completely saturated. When we take the dog out to use the bathroom and you step on the grass, it is like a sponge. There is so much water that it is not being absorbed because it is already absorbed as much as it can. Um, yesterday, on Friday, I had to go to town in the evening to pick up some medications and there was still a lot of downed trees and tree limbs on side roads in the city and on the sides of the freeway. I know that all the utility workers are working as fast as they can to clean them up, but it is still dangerous even though they're on the side of the road. And so that is why you will find that I do not leave and go places unless I have to when it is storming or raining. Plus, no offense to anyone, but some people just don't drive very well, period, whether it's wet or dry. So I tend to try to stay home and be a recluse when it is either raining or storming. So that is the update on the storm situation. I know that there are a couple of other doll channels that were talking about the storms in California. So I just wanted to address anyone who has been wondering and who has been asking uh, me personally about how the situation is. Anywho, today is Saturday. It is PJ Saturday. So I have decided since it is cold, windy, and rainy, I have put Emma in this vintage Care Bear sleeper. And it is actually yellow. And I know that um, the Sunshine, the Dolly Sunshine Yellow Saturday has been changed to just Dolly, um, I believe it's Dolly, is it Dolly? Yes. I'm sorry, guys. You know me and my brain. I get confused. It was Dolly Sunshine Yellow Saturday, and now it is just Dolly Sunshine Saturday. And so we were going, I was going to put her in her uh, vintage Raggedy Ann and Auntie, um, like, snowsuit, but I decided, since we weren't going anywhere, that I would rather have her lounge around in pajamas and what better day to do it for a blanket sleeper set of pajamas than today. So by coincidence, our outfit is yellow. Um, but like I said, we could have put her in anything to be able to participate in the new Dolly Sunshine Saturday. But this just coincidentally happened to be yellow. But there she is. And if you guys notice, we have one of the Dollar Tree uh, clips in her hair. It is the little white bow. There it is. Clip to her little hair. And then she did have the pacifier in her mouth, you guys, that got her, but she spit it out. So, yes, that is the pacifier from the dollar, set, dollar store that said, I'm the reason we're late. But she spit it out. So, I'm not sure if she's going to like that one. She has been the pickiest of all the babies on which pacifier she will actually take. I have actually only found a couple that she will actually take and keep in her mouth. And that is actually, coincidentally, one from the dollar store, but it looks like those Soothe pacifiers. And it has a long skinny nipple, and she likes that one. 
And then she will also keep um, the little newborn zero to three months mam wins in her mouth. So, so far, those are the only two. Oh, and she will keep the Soothe pacifier that has, I guess it's the Webinub. It has a giraffe hook to it, and it is the uh, green Soothe pacifier. She will put that one in her mouth, and she will keep that one in for quite a while, but she does spit that one out sometimes. But the two that she really likes and keeps in her mouth is the Mam and the uh, Dollar Store generic Soothe looking pacifier. But yeah, guys, so that's the update on the storm. That is today. We are just not doing anything, you guys. It is Saturday. It is stormy. It is crappy outside. Excuse my language. So we are basically just sitting inside watching TV, keeping our fingers crossed that the power doesn't go out. But I will tell you, the winds are only supposed to be for a couple of hours, not all day. So I am thankful times five for that. Um... I don't think there was any update. Oh, there is one other update that I was going to give you. Um, I had posted on my community wall about a order from Ally Express being canceled. Um, it was really odd to me. I didn't understand it, and the seller had a hard time explaining it to me, but I ultimately figured it out. Um, the order was placed on January 3rd. It was supposedly shipped on January 4th but I was never given any tracking. Um, on January 12th, I messaged the seller and asked if there was a tracking number. They gave me the 800 number to the post office, to the United States post office. <laughs> I was like, I'm not calling that because they're not gonna be able to tell me anything if I don't have a tracking number. So I wrote back and I told him, I said, no, I need something to be able to relay to them. They're not gonna be able to tell me anything if I don't have a tracking number. So I didn't hear from them. So the very next day I woke up to an email and a message from the company saying that the shipment was canceled. So I wrote back and said, then there needs to be a refund. And the person said, yes, you will get a refund. I said, how long will it take? And he said, go in and apply for a refund. Well, when I went in, because it had not been long enough to open a dispute, it wouldn't let me do it. The two choices were that I received the item damaged or the item I received was not as described. Those were the only two things. And I would have had to press the button that said um, that the delivery came and it didn't. And I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to screw myself out of the refund. So ultimately, I Googled it. I read a ton of posts. And I went to the help center on the LA Express um, website, mobile website, and pressed the button for the little robot to help me. And it opened a dispute for me. And the very next day I got an email saying that I would have a refund on in my account by the 20th of January. So thank goodness. And uh, PayPal also sent me a notice saying that they got the uh, notification for the refund and that it should be back in my account by the 20th. So I am thankful for that because I have ordered from them one other time and the packages took forever to get to me. And I mean, the prices are exceptional. The products are great for what they are. And I was going to get another toddler that was, that I would have had to put together and everything. And she was an excellent price. And that's why I ended up getting her. But apparently she was not meant to be because the shipment was canceled. So I am not receiving a new toddler. Um, eventually, I think I'm just going to stay away from AliExpress. I don't know why. I see people ordering it off, ordering off of it all the time, having good experiences. I've only had a good experience one time, and it wasn't even that good. The good experience is that's where Mia came from, and she arrived safely. The bad experience was is that it took like uh, two months to get here. It took like over 60 days for her to get here. And she was like floating around. She cleared customs like super quick and then all of a sudden she was just, there was like no update and she was just floating around somewhere and it took forever for her to get here. And I swore that I would never order from there again. Well, what did I do? I ordered from there again and I had another bad experience. So I don't know if I will ever be um, ordering from AliExpress again. 
I know that um, I I researched the sellers, I researched the reviews on the sellers and the um, feedback, and it was a person that had sold quite a bit of dolls. They had great reviews, and they had free returns and free shipping. And those were the pointers that I was given whenever I was, whenever I told people I was going to um, buy off there. So I followed all of that, but yet I had another bad experience. So I'm, it kind of soured me because I was actually looking forward to the toddler. So now I'm just going to hold off on uh, adding anyone new to the nursery for a while. Um, it kind of soured me, unfortunately. And it soured me so bad because it was such a good deal for the kit. And it was a kit that was already painted and rooted and had the body and you just had to put her together and stuff her and stuff. And I can do that easily. So I guess she wasn't meant to be. Maybe maybe I can find one off of something else or, or something else, off of somewhere else. I really do like some of the dolls on Amazon, but unfortunately Amazon does not carry all the dolls that AliExpress carries. So there's not as big of a variety. So guys, that is my storm update, my AliExpress update, and our participation in PJ Saturday and Dolly, either Doll or Dolly Sunshine Saturday. I apologize if I got it wrong. I don't know why I cannot remember these things, you guys. I participate in them almost every Saturday, but I'm... <laughs> I always, my brain is really weird. I always have a ton of things running through my brain, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, I don't know, I don't know what you call it, you know, but I have stuff running through my brain all hours of the day and night. So when I actually come on, I should actually write my, like an old lady, I should write myself notes on a piece of paper so that I can get it exactly right. But I believe it was Dolly Sunshine Saturday. And I know it was by uh, Tomlinson's uh, Nursery. And I don't even, you know, see I'm sitting here drawing a blank on the nursery name. So I apologize for that, but I will tag you in the video. I apologize for ruining your channel name, ruining your hashtag. I will try to do better next weekend. Well, guys, with that being said, that's going to do it for this video. Emma and I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it for you. And until next time, bye, guys.